Hey, I'm Enrique, artist and illustrator. Today we're going to go over how to draw Princess Mononoke, one of my favorite animes of all time. It's going to be easy, stay all the way to the very end, and let's jump into it right now. All right, let's go over here and draw that first layer. And then after that, we're going to take this piece of paper, put it underneath, and then go on with the second layer. So you want to basically kind of... Um, <clears throat> layer your drawings kind of like a cake kind of you want to layer them up so I'll show you what I mean okay let's go over the simple shapes first we're going over San in the front and Moro in the back San is the princess uh, you know princess Mononoke over here so I'm gonna go over here and I'm gonna I'm gonna start with should I start with San I'm sorry with Moro let's start with San right here in front I'm drawing a oval shape for the head just kind of sitting there to be honest, I'm going to draw a little bit bigger than that. Let me just make it larger than that. All right, so you have that oval shape for the head. Maybe draw a center line right there. You don't have to do it like steady like this. I'm just going to show you the simple shapes that make it up. And I think it teaches you much better than just drawing it straight directly on the paper. Line over here for the neck. Line over here for the neck. <clears throat> Down. Curve right here. Uh, she's gonna be wearing like a coat, but right now I'm just thinking in simple shapes. So I'm thinking the rib cage of her body. Downward here. Downward here. Shoulder. Line out for the arm right there, right? Just kind of looking that way, real simple pose. If you ever saw Princess Mononoke, by the way, let me know. Like, hit the, hit the, like, it's a really awesome Studio Ghibli movie. Down here for the arm. Again, I'm thinking of the arms like just tubes. Very simplistic tubes right there. Line over here for the other side, the arm coming off the other side. <clears throat> and the coat is big, it has its own thickness to it, so I'm going to go over here and just kind of throw kind of like a curved line. Something like that, just thinking in an abstract form. Out over here as well, she's got that fur on her. And there's one on the other side of the shoulder. So we're doing this for placement, okay? Very simplistic placement. And then we're going to go over this with another sheet of paper. So that's, we have the rib cage, we have the, 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 the torso uh, layer right here for the back. Uh, so stick around so you know where I'm leading with this. Also, don't forget, hit the subscribe, click the bell notification, okay? It's going to make a lot of sense as we go through this. Um, and then this shape for the hat. Going to go over here now to the wolf sitting in the back, right? Uh, I think it's Moro. Uh, it's, a, well, it's a girl. Down. And when I draw wolves of any kind, it's a giant wolf, I like to uh, draw their head right here. It's kind of like a box, maybe a slate down here for the, the brow. Pulling outward over here for the snout, down, back. And then down here for the neck. Out over here, down. Back over here, back. Line over here, line. <sighs> and those are the simple shapes that make up, you know, the wolf kind of sitting in the back. Um, you could kind of draw like a circle here for the eye, kind of where that eye is going to be. It looks cartoony. So now I'm going to grab this. This is literally just there for placement only, okay? And I'm going to throw it underneath another sheet of paper. These papers are from the computer. Very, very simple. Very, very simple paper from the computer. Um, but, yeah. Okay. So, now I'm going to go in here and start drawing her first. But be, be, though, So, I put this over. I can kind of see through it. You can't see that on the camera, but I can see through it. Um, so, now, I, this is what I want you to do at home. Draw simple shapes of something, right? Like the head. 
torso and whatever and then put a paper over it and now you don't have to think of where the placement is anymore now you can think of the details without having to worry whether something's too large so i'm going to curve over here for the front of the nose down pulling up downward curve in line back for the open mouth downward here line stunt uh, lip here down and at the same time looking at that 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 you know that shape I put underneath going back here from the chin pulling back but not all the way we're gonna pull only a certain amount because there's an earring she has this huge earring curve like a u-shape there curve in curve over here I'm gonna draw some of her hair coming down right here like little zigzags okay pulling down up I'm gonna go over to the eye her eye is really big line over here down you know line back there for the bottom of the eye gonna throw in a little bit of a highlight and then fill in the rest of it drawing a line right here for the eye eyebrow line down here curve on the far side over there see how it's going up for the hair line across the bottom over there down down <laughs> curve over here line across curve go over here curve over here she's gonna have the mask kind of sitting on her head the one she puts in front of her face Right, it's just kind of sitting on top of her, like her head there. I'm gonna draw a curve line over here. Don't forget, if you like Princess Mononoke, hit that subscribe, click the bell notification. Uh, I'm gonna do a lot more stuff. Like, if you want to do anime, let me know which one, and I'll do one. I'm gonna pull down here for the neck. <sighs> line down. Curve. Down, up curve over here for the shoulder seeing the uh, that fur on her back right so now that's gonna kind of come into play right now so here's the fur coming down here on over here up Gonna go over here, curve line, up, down. Gonna go over here, circle. Circle over here. <clears throat> All right, I'm gonna go to the rest of the fur on this side. Zigzag over here. zigzag right there and because she's got kind of like an ear sticking out I believe it's on the mask or I, actually I think it's on the, just the coat curve right there line zigzag pulling down kind of zigzagging down see I can see through this I can actually see through this 
to the shape underneath I drew. That's what's cool about it. I'm gonna go over here and I'm gonna draw in uh, the arm first. So the arm's right there. Curve. Down. Line over here. Down. Downward. Line here. Let's take a quick break. Uh, I want to talk a little bit about Princess Mononoke super fast. Uh, this was the first anime that convinced me to like anime. I know when I was younger, I didn't really like anime. I was like, eh, you know, it's just, it's kind of weird. And uh, the people that were into it were odd. But when I saw this, it completely moved me over. And now I'm super into anime. So that was my first introduction. Do you remember your first introduction to anime? I'm assuming you do like that because you're watching this video. Uh, let me know in the comments below. Now let's get back to the video without interruptions. Let's get going. All right. Now we'll go down to that kind of like smock outfit thing, Gobok thing she has on. And I'm going to pull a line down, large line down, up. And then right here, that's the undershirt, right? You can throw like some lines right here for. And don't ever do it on the clothing, by the way. Line here for the tension points. But you don't want to overdo it. I think that's a huge mistake people make because they way overdo the folds. Because she doesn't have that many folds. Line over here for that kind of a necklace that she has on. Zigzag here. Line, line, line. Line over here. Over here as well. Zigzag over here. Just run these zigzag little lines that go down to kind of represent fur. Right? Just as long as it's all going the same direction, it's completely fine. Line over here. curve right there so now we have we have her there she's pretty much done right she's standing there epic heroically now let's go over uh you know uh moro right moro right, my brain's hurting right now <laughs> i'm forgetting the names because i'm thinking of like something maybe i'm drawing i'm gonna go right here and i'm gonna go right into the forehead back you can do little 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 zigzags to go back there Curve up. Zigzag here for the line. Line over here. Curve back. Line out. Curve down right here for the nose. The nose is basically just a triangle. Curve in because you're going to have a nostril right there for that wolf. We're going to pull back. Going to pull down here for the front of the mouth. Pulling back right there. Line right there. Kind of ends. Look at the little sharp teeth there. Gonna throw the, another line right here for the lip area, kind of that dark part, right? Because it's a white wolf with a kind of a dark lip right there in the mouth. Pulling down. 
zigzag. Line, line. Zigzag over here. Up. Zigzag here. You get the ear. See how easy this is with you already have the template in the back that I can see through, right? I don't have to think about positioning at all. That's what's cool about it. I literally just, you know, literally I don't have to do anything. It's it's awesome. Like, I mean, you do have to do stuff, but you, I'm thinking only of one thing. And when you think in basically separate pieces like this, you create better art. And that's kind of why I want to teach almost all the drawings like this, all the, all the tutorials like this, uh, because of that reason. I'm going to go over here for the eye up down line 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 over here curve curve line over here lined over here coming off the eyes kind of like the crow's feet and I want to go back over here and same thing. Just draw a little bit of lines. Everything is more or less just kind of icing on the cake at this point. Right here we draw like a little zigzag for kind of the wolf itself. Kind of reminds me of my dog. Uh, circle here. Dot in the center there. And then create another dark right there. That's a tip for when you draw eyes. When you draw the pupil inside the iris, draw some dark at the top of it so it doesn't look crazy. Sometimes it looks like googly eyes if you don't do that. over here line 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 right over here at the bottom of the nose and fill it out right on all right and that's pretty much it. I can put some darks in here, but that is it. That is Princess Mononoke. That is, uh, you know, one of my favorite animes of all time. Uh, okay, sketch crew. Uh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna put some darks here. I don't know of a name to call everybody that watches this channel. I want to thank you guys. I believe it's sketch crew, something like that. I don't know what to think of. Put a line under here. Just add some darks to kind of add it a little flair and give it some grounding because that can, it's always good when you give it a little bit more uh, effort like when you think your drawing's done. Always throw a little bit more. A little bit more like lines here where you think they could work. Thin lines here, thin lines there. But I want to thank you very much. Uh, I've been doing this for a few years and it is amazingly rewarding to talk to everybody here. Um, things have changed so much. Um, but I want to hear your thoughts uh, in the comment sections. Even if you just say hi, say what's up, how's it going, I will answer every single comment. Oh, I forgot the armband on here. Right on. Thank you so much. I'll see you next time.